Hi, I'm Shiro Ben, and last month I had the privilege of going to E3 with fellow Shiro member Patrick. We were able to try out new games, interview guests such as Corey Marshall, Lisa Wilkerson of Shenmu fame, as well as Adam Korolik of Machinima and Figure It Out Productions. There was also a Sega Saturn sitting inside the museum in one of the wings. So without further ado, let's check out what happened on the floor. This is Patrick reporting live from the Sega booth and you're watching Sega Saturn Shiro. Can you tell the viewers a little bit about yourself? Uh, well, I live in Chicago, uh, and I grew up uh, there, and I have a film background, and I eventually kind of turned that into like video games, because that was one of my passions, and I ended up making a lot of video game content. I can't exactly uh, say I expected it to turn into a career, but here we are at E3, and somehow that's my job. Uh, I tweet about Shenmue, and like they've, you know, they'll retweet it and everything, and it, it's, you know, immediately what I say about Shenmue is suddenly gospel, which is a fucking weird position to be in. Um, but yeah, it's, it's really very cool. I would love to tell you I was a fan ever since, but there was that kind of like lull with the 32X and I'm sorry, the Saturn. I didn't even know the Saturn was a thing until like after the Dreamcast was done, which is embarrassing as hell considering my job now. But uh, then when Dreamcast was like coming up, I was like, Sega's back. Holy shit. And I just like completely fell in love with it all over again. And it's kind of been that way ever since. Uh, I guess what does Sega mean to you? Uh, Sega is like an integral part of my life now. I mean, originally it was just something. It's, you know, video game platforms, video game company. I enjoyed their content, the art and the works that they created. Now it's like, it's like a serious part of my life and my job. It means a lot to me. But uh, yeah, I just want to thank you a lot for the interview, and I am um, I'm going to be happy to see your content as you move forward, as well as time goes on. <laughs> so uh, thank you very much, Adam. I really appreciate it. Yeah, my pleasure. Thank you for having me on. Yeah, thank you. So you tell me a little bit about yourself. Perfect. Are you excited for uh, Sonic Racing? Awesome. You have it here. Thank you very much. Uh, would you, like, you guys like to introduce yourselves? Sure. Hi, my name is Corey Marshall. I voice Ryo Hazuki. Hi, my name is Lisa Wilkerson. I do the voice for Shuing and also Joy and Yuan. Yes, it's a pleasure, pleasure to talk to you guys. So, uh, I guess the, the first uh, question I'd like to ask is how you guys got involved in Shenmue? Oh gosh, well for me, uh, I was living in New York at the time and uh, it was a regular uh, audition process. There was a, uh, a notice and, uh, uh, for people who were looking for auditions and uh, I was in college at the time and it said, uh, I don't know, I think it said uh, two to three months in Japan doing uh, voiceovers for video games and I was like, sounds amazing. So <laughs> yeah, I just uh, went in and did the uh, regular audition process and uh, the rest is history. I was actually living in Japan because um, I grew up there. So I was living there and doing a lot of voice work and radio. And I got this call for an audition and I went in. And the rest is this is history. And they're actually doing the remaster, Shimmy 1 and 2. So I was wondering how you guys uh, feel after all this time, uh, people are going to be able to play this game once again. Oh, I'm, I'm very excited about that. We're, I think we're both looking forward to uh, having all new fans. That, I think that's going to be great, right? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, I think uh, the relationship that we have as, as actors is, is a little bit special. I think what you were saying before, I think uh, not only uh, are we uh, friends outside of the game, but we, we really enjoyed working professionally together. So that's, it, it has, I think it has a special place in our heart. You know, we've done a lot of uh, work 
in our lives, but Shenmu always has that special place. We we love it. We we love we love not only the game but uh, the cast and uh, crew and everything else. So it's it's a, it's, a, it's a special thing for us. People's lives were affected and and changed in such a positive way, where people uh, dedicated their careers to, uh, to to games, or you know maybe they decided to become a designer, or they did uh, computer graphics, or um, you know something like Adam or you guys do, where it, it really just it, it was a driving force in their life, and we uh, we're we're really humbled by that, I think. Yeah. I mean, at the end of the day, like, you know, it's it even I go to a lot of anime conventions or gaming com conventions and I was telling Corey earlier that I just see so many Shemu fans, you know, and people and to finally see people just so excited about a new one coming out and then the HD one, you know, one and two coming out like I, I think it couldn't happen to a nicer group of fans because you guys have been awesome over the years, so, yeah. So, uh, I just for one final question, how do you guys think it's all going to end? Um, with my revenge. <laughs> exactly. With his revenge, All right, so there you have it. Basically, we had a fun trip. There were so many more things that happened on this trip other than what you saw in this video. But uh, if you want to see more, please stay tuned to the Shiro Network, and I'll see you later.